Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, it's season 43, and this is war number 11. Just one more war after this. And, oh my, we're going up against an alliance. I cannot read either their tag or their name, but you guys can see. All right, who do they ban? Ghost, Omega Sentinel, and Kingpin. Okay, let's um, see what they got planned for us here on defense. I take path three. So we've got Warlock, who does get an armor up. So that means that I need to deal with the um, electric defense and the spaced armor. Well, don't have to worry about the spaced armor as long as I'm not trying to bring in somebody that relies on nullification, fate seal, or stagger. Um, man. Okay, so it'll probably be Hulkling or Gallon. All right, we've got Dr. Doom. The annoying thing about any mystic on here is if they have mystic dispersion, it means that you also need to be careful about the power gain. So if you can bring someone that can control the power, I know Claire probably can work. Um, I might, if I, if I take this doom, I might uh, stay in uh, maybe a uh, curse of plague. And... The special two would have a little bit of power control, um, but I'll see if that's if they don't have anybody better uh, for that doom there. All right, middle is Kate Bishop and Mangog. Hmm. Kate Bishop is annoying, that's for sure. Uh, they might put a, a white mags pre-fight on her. That might help. Um, Quicksilver. Okay. Um, let me see. If I take Quicksilver, maybe Overseer might do uh, do well there. Let's see this note again. Okay. So armor up. Um, Quicksilver doesn't get armor ups, I don't think. Um, the triggering the buff overseer, um, he doesn't get nullified. Um, Gallon too, for that matter. Vigorous assault, yeah. That shouldn't be too difficult. Overseer or uh, Gallon. If I brought in Gallon, he could definitely do the uh, Warlock and might be able to do the um, Quicksilver as well. But I am bringing Hulkling, so Hulkling could do the Warlock as well. Let's see. All right, so we've got um, Mysterio. That's Claire. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Hulkling can do that fight, too. And Scorpion. Hmm. Hulkling might be able to do that, that one as well. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, if I brought in Claire, Hulkling... And maybe Overseer. I might be able to take all of the minis on this side. Hmm. Let's see. Um, if I have Claire. 
I don't really want to deal with that um, gore on that node. Very annoying. Probably could, but ugh. Uh, that Omega Sentinel? Mm. Claire might be able to do that one. I don't know. If if they don't have a better option, I may be a good option for a lot of this. So Claire, Overseer, and Hulkling. And possibly all the minis. Over here. Yeah. All right. I'll talk it over with him and we will see what we will see. So let's get on with the fighting. All right. We're going in with the Overseer, Claire, and Hulkling. And guys, let me tell you, this war was spicy. This was the war of wars. The War of the Season. If you didn't watch any other of my wars, you need to see this one. This one was crazy. All right, so the first fight is against this Warlock. Now, I already know Warlock has armor up, uh, and so I was definitely going to use Hulkling. And I, I do remember that Hulkling is not immune to special lock but he won't get power burned, meaning for this node, he's not gonna take that damage from the node. I love Hulkling, awesome. All right, now, if you'll see here, I replaced my regular boost with a six hour war boost. There's a reason for that. Planning to do a lot more, all right? so. First thing that I like to do is hit into their block, build uh, up my pierce charges, all right? And you can see how he suddenly doesn't like to block anymore. We got you. I'm already, you know, accepting of that AI feature. And so I'm just gonna keep going. You can see I'm power locked. That's fine. And then he parries me. I'm like, okay. I got you. See how it is. Hit you with that. Now how you feeling? That's what I thought. So, Hulkling is also shock immune. So that didn't do a lot of damage as you can see. And down goes Warlock. Now, this next fight was tough. It was a butt clencher. So I take all the minis on the left side in this war, okay? This is the first mini. And in fact, I'm not gonna narrate this fight. I'm gonna get out of the way and I'm gonna let you guys watch this fight without any interruption.
Now that was a fight. Y'all see why I love Claire? You see why she my baby? You see why I use her often? I was not expecting that fight to be that tough. Oh my goodness. That was a rough, rough fight. Okay, look at me. I'm sitting back here trying to relax, ease myself into the next fight. Oh my goodness. Did y'all see how low my health was and how I had to switch into Curse of Blood to try to stay alive to get more health? Oh my goodness. And then right at the end, I timed it so that if that special two didn't take him out, it would end after his shield was over or else he would have just come back and clapped me good. Oh my goodness. And I had to evade one of his special twos because even taking those on my block hurt. And I was too low to take one of them on my block. So I just had to, had to uh, evade it completely, which I can do. I'm just not used to doing it. All right. So one of the reasons that I like fighting with um, the Overseer against Quicksilver especially is because I can retaliate, as you see there, retaliation. That's where a lot of his damage comes from. Retaliating after special attacks, after heavy attacks, love it. So he can go ahead and do it and I will block it and just get him, okay? Like that. So bait out heavies, bait out specials, and punish him. Just look at that. Look at the retaliation damage. Mm. Beautiful. That fight went exactly the way I was planning for it to go. Unlike that other mini. Oh my goodness. Also, by this time, uh, by the time you see this, they have changed Alliance War. The map is completely different. So the next war uh, season, when I put out those videos, it's all new. And we have a few uh, nodes that have been changed as well. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, and, and I mentioned that because uh, folks were giving me some advice on one of the nodes here. That Terax is shock immune and bleed immune and can put armor breaks. But I don't know if I'm going to need him. So we'll see. I might still uh, rank him up. All right, so this fight, I was pretty sure it was going to be straightforward. I went ahead and cycled uh, through because he's not going to get um, armor ups. So I don't need to stay in Curse of Blood. All right. And I'm trying to force him to do that, uh, you know, the special, but he didn't want to fire his special until he got to special two. The reason I didn't want to do the special two was because it was going to power drain me and I wouldn't be able to get my special two off when I wanted to. But as you see, still got it off. Just delayed it slightly. Um, so not too big of a deal, which is why you see me now. I'm just going in. I'm just like, don't worry about your special one then. We're just going to go in. There we go. Finish him off. All right. Now, um, that fight went pretty uh, easy. In fact, all the fights that I had after that first mini were easy in comparison. I mean, it, ooh. So we know she gets an armor up, and it's indefinite. So even if I um, nullify it, it's going to come back. So you really want to have somebody here that's shock immune. So Hulkling, he's shock immune, poison immune. He's perfect uh, for this node. Uh, if I had a ranked up Terax, he would also be good for this one. But with the new war, I don't know if I'm going to rank him up uh, for this. We'll see. Now, this glancing is what's annoying. And Terax would probably do better because the glancing only works as they have an armor up. Don't look at that. I don't know why I sometimes try to evade that. Um, but while they have an armor up, Terax 
will armor break, take the armor up away, so the fight would probably go faster because I wouldn't have to worry about all this glancing that you see here. Um, I think on this node, I think it's 30% per armor up, right? So you definitely want that. Uh, in the off season, I faced a Viv Vision. And if you know about her, she stacks those armor ups. And all the glancing on that fight, I was like, oh no. But you know what I did for her? Next time I saw her on that node, Corvus. Bam! Parry. Every one of them were armor broken. Worked her over. So, we'll see how the next war season goes and who's putting uh, who on what nodes. Because uh, things are a little bit uh, different. Alright, so now we've got Scorpion. I'm not worried about Scorpion. You know why? Because Hulkling is immune to poison. And on this node, high energy diet, we don't have to worry about that because Hulkling doesn't do those energy-based attacks. So I'm going into this fight, you know, full of confidence, not worried about this Scorpion. I know he's annoying with that evade, you know, that, that what is it, uh, Scorpion sense, but I don't really care. As you see me put a uh, invulnerability boost on, uh, just in case, you know, not that I'm worried or anything. Um, but after that first mini, I was a little nervous. And this is like um, the last, well, second to last war, but we are really pushing to win this war because we don't want to deal with the pressure of that last war. So this war. We needed to win. Everybody was trying. We were pushing. And at this point, our leader called it. He said we, we, it was close. It was very, very close. But we lost. Um, we just gave up too many deaths. Okay? And that don't stop me. I'm still going to fight as I fight, you know, and wait and see how things uh, turned out. Uh, but anyway, that is the final fight for me of this season, or not the season, but this war. And we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back and guess what? We won. Now, the reason I say that, look at the score. Look at the score. 80 points. Our leader had already called this one a loss. He was like, it was close, but it looks like we lost this one. Um, let's just brush it off and, and try to win the uh, last war so that we can stay in uh, Platinum 2. Okay? So I was surprised when I saw that we had won. I was like, what? We won? Yes, we won. Look at this. This was a battle, a battle, okay? I'm telling you. Now, imagine how I would have felt if I had died and we lost by, like, one death. I'd have been so upset. So it was worth it. The fighting, the sweat, the tears, the shaking was worth it. Anyway... That is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.